Gute Nachrichten aus den USA. Die Ärzte von Donald Trump haben sich wieder vor eine Kamera gestellt, um zu sagen, dass es dem Präsidenten besser geht. Der Zustand verbessert sich. Wir wollen jetzt in dieses Statement hören und werden gleich danach natürlich das Ganze auch noch mal analysieren. Die Bilder sind so frisch, dass das Statement auf Englisch ist. Later that day, by the time the team here was at the bedside, the president had been up, out of bed, moving about the residence with only mild symptoms. Despite this, everyone agreed the best course of action was to move to Walter Reed for more thorough evaluation and monitoring. Now I'd like to invite up Dr. Dooley to discuss the current plan. Thank you, Dr. Connolly. Um, before I begin a, a brief clinical update on the president's condition, I do want to reiterate my comments from yesterday regarding the, uh, how proud I am to be a part of this multidisciplinary, multi-institutional team of uh, clinical professionals behind me and what an honor it is to care for the president uh, here at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. Regarding his clinical status, the patient uh, continues to improve. Uh, he has remained without fever uh, since Friday morning. His vital signs are stable. Uh, from a pulmonary standpoint, he remains on room air this morning uh, and is not complaining of shortness of breath or other significant respiratory symptoms. He's ambulating uh, himself, walking around the White House Medical Unit without uh, limitation or disability. Our continued monitoring of his cardiac, uh, liver, and kidney function uh, demonstrates continued normal findings or improving findings. Um, so, and I'll, I'll now turn it over to, uh, to Dr. Garibaldi uh, from Johns Hopkins to talk about our therapeutics and again, our plan for the day. Thank you, Dr. Julian. I just wanted to again reiterate what an honor and a privilege it is to take care of the president, but to be part of such a talented and multidisciplinary team here at, at Walter Reed. Uh, the president yesterday evening completed his second dose of remdesivir. Uh, he's tolerated that infusion well. We've been monitoring for any potential side effects, uh, and he has had none that we can tell. His liver and kidney function have remained normal, um, and we continue uh, to plan to use a five-day course of remdesivir. In response to transient uh, low oxygen levels, as Dr. Conley has discussed, we did initiate dexamethasone therapy, and he received his first dose of that yesterday and our plan is to continue that for the time being. Um, today, he feels well. He's been up and around. Our plan for today is to have him to eat and drink, uh, be up out of bed as much as possible to be mobile. And if he continues to look and, and feel as well as he does today, our hope is that we can plan for a discharge as early as tomorrow to the White House where he can continue his treatment course. Thank you very much. And I'll turn it over to Dr. Connolly for any questions. Just a moment, please. The President wanted me to share how proud he is of the group, what an honor it is for him to be receiving his care here at Walter Reed, surrounded by such incredible talent, academic leaders, department chairs, internationally renowned researchers and clinicians, including the support of Dr. Gar Garibaldi from Johns Hopkins. Um, I'd like to reiterate how pleased we all are with the President's recovery, and with that I'll take your question. Dr. Conley, you said that there were two instances where he had drops in oxygen. Can you walk us through the second one? And also, I've got a question for the lung specialist afterwards. Sure. Yeah, yeah yesterday, uh, there was another episode where he dropped down about 93%. Um, he doesn't ever feel short of breath. Uh, we watched it, um, and it, it returned back up. Um, as I said, we, we evaluate all of these, and given the timeline where he is in the, the course of illness, you know, we, we are trying to maximize everything uh, that we could do for him, and we debated whether we'd even start it, uh, the dexamethasone, and we decided that uh, in this case, the potential benefits early on the course probably outweighed any risks at this time. Did you give him a second round of supplemental oxygen yesterday? Uh, I'd, have to, I'd have to check with the nursing staff. Uh, um, I don't think that if he did, it was very, very limited, uh, but... He's not on oxygen, um, and, and the only oxygen that, that I ordered or that we provided was uh, that Friday morning initially. And about what time was that yesterday? Uh, yesterday, what was yesterday? You said the second instance? Second ins incidence? Oh, it was over the course of the day, yeah. Yesterday morning. Dr. Connolly, Dr. Connolly. what Dr. is Connolly. the president's current uh, blood oxygen level? That's my first question to you, Dr. Connolly. 98%. And, and what, what do the uh, x-rays and CT scans 
show? Are there signs of pneumonia? Are there signs of lung involvement uh, or any damage to the lungs? Yeah, so we're tracking all of that. Um, there's some expected findings, but nothing of uh, any major clinical concern. Mehr Nachrichten und Breaking News nur bei BILD. Schau dir hier das nächste Video an und vergiss nicht zu abonnieren.